welcome back dear students so having said the working of a digester biomass digester and the benefits of biogas plants and the products in the last lecture we will continue discussion on the types of biogas plants there are two types of biogas plants fixed dome biogas plant and floating drum biogas plant we will see the construction features and uh, advantages and disadvantages relatively for these two types in today's lecture so this is a fixed dome type biogas plant you can see as the set name suggests the dome of this plant is fixed okay this is a dome okay and the entire digester is placed under the earth inside the earth okay under the i mean below the ground level so this is similar to the simple diagram the schematic diagram what i have shown in the uh, previous session there is a intake line where we give, we can feed the biomass and there is a slurry where you can take the slurry out but the biogas is taken out during the gas uh, through the gas holder here this is known as the gas holder so you can see the different parts here the mixing tank the first one is the mixing tank where the uh, biomass the feedstock will be mixed with sufficient amount of water moisture is necessary for the anaerobic digestion to take place inside the digester so sufficient quantity of moisture will be mixed up with the dry biomass and fed through this line to the digester this is the digester then you have the compensation and removal tank here yeah here if the level of the biomass inside this is low we can have this compensation and removal tank so you can see a, a stepwise construction usually this digester is made with brick masonry with bricks concrete mortar cement and all so there is no steel parts involved in this then there is a gas holder there is a gas holder you can see the top portion top layer of the digester is called the gas holder where the gas will be filled generated gas from the anaerobic digestion process will be in this portion of the digester so the gas pipe from where you can take the biogas for the heating or cooking purposes whatever application it is then 6 is the entry hatch through which you can enter into the digester for cleaning or maintenance purpose the sludge will be accumulated here which can be taken out through this line this is the outlet pipe and 9 is the reference level the ground level so the digest entire digester is placed below the reference level okay so these are the different parts of a fixed dome type right? biogas plant biogas digester so these are one of the most well known wet fermentation biogas generators in the world so you may have observed i have used fermentation here so usually this anaerobic digestion and fermentation are used simultaneously or one for the other because the basic principle remain the same we will see that in detail when we discuss about fermentation in the coming session so typical structure of exit dome digester consists of an inlet trough as you have seen a lower fermenting reservoir like a digester with a rigid removable collection dome so it's a fixed dome capping on the top of the digester that will be above the ground level several different types of fixed dome digester exist but by far the most popular is the chinese design which is typically built of gas sealed brick and mortar or cement 
as I said, usually this is constructed using bricks. So it is very simple in design with brick masonry. So there are no rusting steel components. So we don't need to worry about whether it will rust or cause problems in this structure after a period of time. Nothing to worry like that because it is made up of brick, mortar and cement. However, the design is by nature inaccessible due to underground construction and then access to the interior of the digester for cleaning and maintenance. That is extremely difficult. You can see there is only opening is the dome. That fixed dome you may have to remove. You have to enter through that portion only using a ladder or a rope. It is very difficult. The upper portion of the digester needs to be gas tight. So, in order to make it gas tight, you have to provide some paint coating in the inner layer, some synthetic paints or waterproof paints should be coated. If you made the upper layer also with brick, mortar or cement, what will happen? It will not be waterproof. So therefore, the painting or coating with a synthetic waterproof paint is necessary. Still, in the gas holder, the pressure will vary depending on the gas generated. So, the gas coming out through the gas pipe will be of fluctuating in nature. It is not of, of the same pressure. So, obviously, this gas is not suitable to use for cooking or other applications where a steady stream of gas flow is required. So, these are the different designs of the fixed dome plants, Chinese fixed dome, then Janata model which was made in India in response to the Chinese fixed dome model then Deen Bandhu model another Indian version which is the successor of uh, Deen Bandhu model with improved design so these three are the most common fixed dome types of biogas and digesters so coming to the floating drum plant, instead of a fixed dome, here we have a floating drum which will float in the digester as shown in the diagram. You can see here all other construction remain the same. The digester is placed below the ground level, the underground digester tank, the chamber then the sludge carrying line and the biogas, I mean the gas holder and the line. So the floating dome acts as the gas holder here. Okay, the floating dome acts as the gas holder. So they are used chiefly for digesting animal and human phases on a continuous feed mode for operation. So when we have daily input not on weekly or so if you have daily input this animal excreta so we can have this floating drum type of digesters for biogas production so they are now used most frequently by small to middle sized farms of the volume size of 5 to 15 meter cube or institutions and larger agro industrial estates or the digester size is 222 100 meter cube. so starting from 5 meter cube till 100 meter cube you can have this kind of digesters so they consist of a cylindrical or dome shaped digester and a moving or floating gas holder or drum so the gas holder is contained in the floating cap or drum since it is a drum shaped holder I mean the cap is called as floating 
holder. The gas holder floats either directly in the fermenting slurry or in a separate water jacket. So you can have either you can immerse that in the slurry or a separate water jacket is um, provided for the uh, floating drum to float in. The drum in which the biogas collects has an internal or external guide frame that provides stability and keeps the drum upright. So always the drum will be kept upright. You can see in the schematic diagram there are enough space the, for the drum to float. Right. So there will be some guide frame on the periphery of the drum. So that always the drum is upright. It is not tilted like this because of the pressure forces. So if biogas is produced, the drum moves up. If gas is consumed, the gas holder sinks back. That is obvious. So due to the pressure of the gas created, it will move up. And when there is no gas produced inside the digester, it will come down. So from the position of the drum itself, we can understand whether methane gas is produced or not. So these are the different types of floating drum plants, KVIC model, fixed dome plan, the Kamartek design, Pragadi model and Ganesh model. So these are the various types of floating drum type plants similar to the um, Janada and the Inbandu model what we have seen in the fixed drum type. So when we compare the fixed and floating drum, the gas output when you are concerned with the gas output, they are providing uh, similar gas output. There is not much difference. Then the pressure consistency in both the cases. Uh, I mean, the fixed one, it is poor fluctuating pressure of the output gas. The first one, fixed drum type, it is having no corrosion because it is made up of brick. Then the amount of gas available, it is very harder, much harder to gauge because we don't know in floating drum type, the movement of the drum upside and downside, we can understand whether the gas is produced or not. Since the initial investment only is there, it is less ex expensive better insulated then higher life expectancy life expect expectancy is also more for the fixed drum type fixed dome type digester so in the coming session we will discuss about the fermentation another biochemical conversion of biomass Along with that, we will discuss the transesterification process also, the biodiesel production plus ocean biomass energy conversion. With that, we will wind up the session on biomass energy. I hope the lecture was informative, understood, understandable.